Hi, wonderful parents. Uh, I am thrilled to welcome you back to on our channel. Uh, today, we're going to be tackling a topic that's really fundamental to every parent, which is how to sterilize nipples and pacifiers. So I have a couple here, uh, a couple of Dr. Brown's pacifiers, a couple Philips Avent um, number three nipples for their bottles. I'm about to sterilize them. I'm just waiting for my little one to go down uh, to sleep before I go down to the kitchen. So many people, I think, only talk about cleaning baby bottles. So I just want to ensure, obviously, the utmost cleanliness and safety of our little one's pacifiers and bot baby bottle nipples is also so important. Um, you know, it's a concern shared by parents worldwide. The abundance of information out there can be very overwhelming, as I'm sure all of you know, uh, but I'm going to hopefully um, try and guide you through some really comprehensive, budget-friendly, and then most importantly, safe methods today. Um, you know, knowing how to sterilize nipples and baby pacifiers is crucial for several reasons. It can help prevent infections. Um, you know, sanitizing pacifiers and nipples help prevent the transmission of bacteria. It can help avoid some digestive issues for your little one. It promotes oral oral health. Um, bacteria can get on these unsanitized pacifiers and nipples, so we want to make sure that we're doing this in a cleanly in this way. But in summary, sanitizing baby nipples and pacifiers is essential for really safeguarding your baby's health. Regular cleaning and sterilization routines really play a vital role in the overall hygiene and well-being of all babies. So I just want to start with acknowledging the amazing job that you're already doing uh, by obviously becoming interested in this topic and figuring out the best way to go about uh, doing this for your baby. So let's delve into sort of the nitty gritty of pacifier and baby nipple sterilization. So the first step in how to sterilize nipples and pacifiers, as you may know, involves thorough cleaning. We're going to need some warm water, a mild soap. These are your best friends here. We're going to be washing off visible dirt and residue, and that really lays the foundation for an effective sterilization. So first, we're going to talk about the time-tested boiling water method. It's as straight water, straightforward as it sounds. And you might even ask, how long should you boil bottle nipples to sterilize them? We'll get to that. Firstly, you're going to wash the pacifier and baby bottle nipple with warm soapy water. You'll fill a clean pot any pot will do, uh, with water and bring it to a boil. Just make sure it's big enough um, for however many you're trying to do at a time. You're going to carefully place the pacifier in the nipple into the boiling water. You'll boil these items for at least five minutes to ensure proper sterilization. You'll use sterilized tongs to then remove the pacifier and the nipple from the boiling water and you'll place them on a clean surface to air dry or on a clean paper towel. And voila, uh, you know, this simple yet powerful technique really ensures that germs are eradicated without costing you a fortune. So next, there is a dishwasher method for those of us who have dishwashers uh, in our homes or apartments or wherever you may be. Um, You'll start with the same first step. You'll wash the pacifier in the baby bottle nipple with warm soapy, soapy water and rinse. You'll then place the items in the top rack of your dishwasher. There are special compartments just for these parts if that's something you're interested in purchasing. You'll use the hot water and high heat setting for sterilization. And then after that cycle is complete, you'll remove the pacifier in the nipple and then let them air dry on a clean surface. If neither of these methods really don't suit your lifestyle, you could consider steam sterilization. It's convenient, efficient, most important, safe. Um, these specialized steam sterilizers for baby items are widely available. And yes, they might be a bit pricier than just our boiling water method we mentioned before. The peace of mind might make it a worthwhile method for you or other parents that might you might be purchasing for. 
I will note you always want to follow the specific guidelines provided by the manuf manufacturer for the best results to ensure the safety of your baby's items. But each of these sterilization methods has its own benefits and considerations. So it's really essential that you choose the one that best fits your needs and preferences. Um, I also have um, these handy microwave sterilizers from when I'm traveling. Um, usually I'm doing the boiling water method for my uh, pacifiers and nipples. But if I'm traveling or on the go, um, I put four ounces of water in here stick it in the microwave for about four minutes and um then i'm also have some sterilized uh pacifiers and nipples so there you have it those are some step by instruct step instructions for how to sterilize baby pacifiers and nipples remember the, that consistency is paramount making sterilization a part of your routine could be something you look forward to each day uh, might give you some peace of mind. Um, you are a part of a vast community of parents who face similar challenges. So sharing these experiences and advice can be very enriching. So to all the parents listening today, I encourage you to gauge with your community, ask questions, share your wisdom, learn from one another. We're all here to support you in every step of the way. And I would say if you found this information valuable and if you're eager to connect with fellow parents, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. By subscribing, you're not just accessing expert advice like how to uh, sterilize pacifiers and nipples. You're becoming a part of a vibrant community dedicated to creating a nurturing environment for our children. So thanks for spending this time with me. It's so important that you are all here listening to this advice and stay tuned for more enriching discussions. Thank you so much and happy parenting.